Hi, I'm Catherine Cameron, Dr. Jazzini's physician assistant here at the Virginia Spine Institute, and I'm here with him today to discuss uh, spinal injections. As a spine surgeon, I treat over 90% of my patients without surgery. And one of the ways that, that I do that is using cortisone injections. I was very excited to see Max Scherzer come back from a disabling neck injury to win a Game 7 of the World Series. I agree. I think that's fantastic as well. So can you talk a little bit about the role that cortisone injections have in the treatment of neck pain? Sure. So the main reasons that we do cortisone injections is to decrease inflammation. Now the inflammation can be coming from the disc, from the nerve roots that go down into your arms and cause pain, or from the joints in your neck. And so we, it's very important for us to understand where the source of pain is so that we can properly treat it. So why would a patient consider having a uh, cortisone injection with you? So there are three reasons why we would use a cortisone injection. One is to treat the pain. The second is to diagnose where the pain is coming from or sometimes we do it for a combination of the two. So what should patients do to really maximize the effectiveness of the cortisone? So that's a great question, because cortisone takes about 40 hour, 48 hours to kick in. And so it's to help alleviate the pain in that interim period, I use a numbing medication called lidocaine to help reduce the pain. But it's very critical for patients to understand that this is a medication that will wear off. And so it's very critical that they work with our spinal specialized therapists to get their joints moving, their muscles moving, so that they can return to, to their activities. Yeah. And a lot of times, Dr. Gizzini and I get asked about the expectations of um, what it's like to get a cortisone injection. And so um, when you get here for the injection, you'll be um, welcomed into a suite where there's an x-ray machine and placed on your stomach. Uh, Dr. Gizzini will use the x-ray machine in order to localize the um, where the needle will be placed. And so first he's going to use some lidocaine, which is a numbing agent. And this, it is a slight burning sensation, but it will numb the area and make you more comfortable for the injection. And then he will do the uh, cortisone injection. And after this, about 15 minutes later, you are free to drive home or to work and continue and resume your normal activities. So in closing, cortisone injections are a big part of the non-operative treatment that we have to offer to help reduce the pain in patients who have neck pain or associated arm pain. And if you have any additional questions or concerns, we always encourage you to give us a call and ask um, anything that you might have on your mind.